Hey foodie friends, today we're going to another restaurant. I've been constantly being invited to restaurants. We're going to Peso in the Ward area. I parked by TJ Max and I'm going to um, cross the street to get there. So you can either park there or at Whole Foods or near the Dave and Buster's parking lot. Let's go downstairs. So if you've never been there or never heard of it, Peso is where you know, Ward is a big area, so it's where the old Piggy Smalls used to be and where um, Ryan's Grill, if you're old school, over there, Kid City, near it, and they do fancy Filipino food. So um, it's supposed to be traditional Filipino dishes, but with a little flair. So if you're wondering, it's right here across the street where um, if you're not familiar, Ward is a big area that's spread out. It's where the old Ryan's Grill is, if you're old school. And Kaka'ako Kitchen. But right now, I guess the present things are, it's next to Kami Toku and Roger Dunn Golf. So we'll cross the street. You could park in the parking lot right here. Of course, they offer parking, but I don't really like their garage. I have a bigger car and the stalls are small and the ceiling's low. So I parked where um, TJ Maxx is. You can just cross the street here or you can park at Whole Foods or Dave & Buster's. Um, they're all owned by Victoria Ward Centers, so it, um, you are allowed to park there and it's free. All right, so we're here, Peso's right there, right on the corner, right here. So let's go inside. So we got seated and we're waiting for one more friend, Miss Armance, who was in my other video. And we have Chanel, she was in our other videos. Hello. And we're gonna taste the food, yeah? Yeah. And we're all from, if you're wondering, high school. We're from McKinley. We're townies, but I, I don't live in town anymore. Go you, Tigers. Yay. <laughs> so I got a San Miguel beer. They had a ube drink, but they said they don't have it anymore. That looked really good. Miss Chanel has her, what is it, a Chardonnay or something? Some kind of white. Oh, Sauvignon Blanc. That's very fancy. Okay, Miss Armance is here. Cheers. And um, we got our food. I forgot what that's called. She pronounced it, but it's a very long name. But it's eggplant with onions and tomatoes and a bagaong vinaigrette. And lumpia. It's got some pork lumpia. Pork lumpia with the sauce and the cap. Oh, can you say what this lettuce. is? Yeah, what is that again? <laughs> Long. Okay, thank you. Okay, so this is different because you put it in a lettuce wrap. Usually at Filipino restaurants you don't do that, but I put some vinegar inside. <laughs> I put it, I didn't bite it. And then, um... Mm. No, that's why I try to, I try to keep I'm doing it wrong. Video. Lumpy is super good. Get it. And then she went to dinner mm. with... Alright, so this is the, um eggplant dish with onions, tomatoes, and bagaong vinaigrette. That's super refreshing uh, and yummy. And smoky. I, was to go I definitely the recommend getting that if you love work. eggplant uh -huh. and a um, smoky flavor. You don't really taste the bagaong at all. I'm gonna try the lechon koali. It looks very different. It has Brussels sprouts in it and looks like cheese, right? It's Parmesan. Parmesan, interesting. Mm. It's very soft and crispy, but it's super hot. It's got chili pepper on it. And there's Brussels sprouts in it as well, which makes it very different and not traditional. But it's very delicious. But if you're looking for a traditional lechon kuali, maybe if you're a purist, you wouldn't like it. That is not what I would think lechon koali would taste like, but it tastes good. So this is a sisig. It comes in a little platter that's sizzling, and it comes with some egg, too. 
There are some spices mm. left here. It's pretty flavorful, but I would probably choke. It does not Great. taste really like nice. sisig to yeah. me, like what you would think. The seeds. It's quite different, but still enjoyable. But if you're expecting um, traditional Filipino food, no. But it's got some good crispy pieces in there. Mm. I got some pinakbet on here. Got some eggplant, bok choy in there, some long beans. Now the pinakbet is winners. That tastes like what pinak bet should taste like. Here's the grilled shrimp. I used to every now and then like make sure you chicken or something, but I don't anymore. Super smoky and charred taste. So if you like grilled shrimp, it definitely tastes like it. But it's pretty much just a standard shrimp. Um, it's got some kind of sauce <laughs> on there. trying to not add all the... That's kind of brown. flavors. Shrimp's super good, I get that again. And going in for seconds for the pinak bit, that was really good. Mm. Here's some fish from the whole fish. It's very crispy looking. It's like crispy on the outside, but like really soft and juicy on the inside. It's got sweet and sour sauce on the bottom. At first I was like, oh, it's yummy. Really good. So if you're wondering what kind of fish this is, this is a Thai snapper, and every day they have different fishes. <laughs> so um, that was a fish of today. Here's to 45, right? Yay to colonoscopies. You said it first. <laughs> what do you think of the food? Um, I loved the menu. Um, I'm not a big seafood eater, and as a kid, I was really scared of Filipino food. So this was like a nice American Filipino gourmet. Um, fusion thing. Right? Very fusion. It really, um, the flavors were very, I don't want to say subtle. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But it's something safe for somebody that's not familiar. Yeah, it's very safe for people who want to try a toe into Filipino cuisine. Well, I just thought everything was delicious. Um, not one dish was um, disappointing. But I will say if you don't uh, do well with spicy foods, take a look in there because sometimes there's some... <laughs> some chilies in there and some seeds so just be mindful of that but other than that I thought it was a good experience those sneaky peppers <laughs> yeah but I thought it was good but I'm just saying if you're really into Filipino food or you're looking for a traditional Filipino food and you're a purist you might not like it and you'd be disappointed but I can understand how people are creative and put dishes together and I enjoyed everything but some of the things did not taste like they were supposed to um, such as the sisig does not taste like what I think sisig should taste like um, but I still thought it was delicious and of course yes there are a lot of little Hawaiian or Thai chili peppers in there that sneak up on you so if you don't like spice you might get burnt in the mouth but I would say my favorite dish was the panak bet yeah Chanel also agrees. That was one of her favorites. And that tasted like authentic Panakbet. And I enjoyed the fish, although expensive. The shrimp was really Yes, good. and the shrimp was really good, yes. I agree. The price is very expensive. A lot of my viewers don't like expensive stuff, but same thing, we're in Ward again, and everything in the Ward area is gonna be expensive. The but it's bougie. a it's bougie, yes. But um, if you're looking for a nice date night or somewhere special to go to, it's a good place to go to. And we got mostly small plates, yeah? And we all shared it. So it's if you share and half the bill, um, which we're all doing, you should be fine. And it's happy hour as well. So uh, keep that in mind. Happy hour will keep the bill a little bit smaller. So we got dessert. We're naughty. <laughs> we're spending more money. Um, this is the turan, which is like banana Olympia. And it's got a nice soft serve cream caramel ice cream 
And this is the buco panna cotta. So buco is coconut, and it's like a creamy panna cotta. Oh, and I'm being bad. I got um, honey girl. That's what it's called. <laughs> Sounds very mook, but um, it's cucumber, mint, calamansi, and rum. I usually don't do hard alcohol, but it sounds sweet, so if it's sweet, I'll take, I'll drink it. Ooh, it's kind of strong for me, anyway, because I don't really drink hard alcohol. It's got a little sweetness. I'm not the only one. She says it's strong. You got the um, what is it? I got espresso. Uh, espresso martini. Espresso martini, but it's kind of strong. What does it have in there? Like, what is the alcohol? Not too sweet, not too rancid. <laughs> it is very rancid. <laughs> and this is the ube bread pudding with ube soft serve. So that looks really good. Okay, so I'm gonna try the ube bread pudding. Ooh, look at that color. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's bomb. The ube bread pudding. That's crispy on the outside, soft on the inside, and it's got that caramelization of the sugar. Wow. And it comes with ube soft serve. So good. You can taste the grounded up ube in the soft serve, but I think the flavor in the soft serve is very subtle. But wow, this bread pudding is winners. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna try the buco, what is it, buco panna cotta. It's got shredded coconut in there. Mmm. It is like a pina colada f flavor. Yeah. Pineapple, coconut. But the pineapple wow. is like, it's got this really nice roasty flavor. Yeah, it's got a roasted flavor. And then underneath has cream. The cream on the bottom is really cold and refreshing. That's really good too. Time for the turon, which is banana lumpia. It is. I only took half of it, so it's a whole lumpia. It's not like this small. Wow, that's good too. They're all very good. Yeah, I would just come here for cocktails and. Yeah, I would come here for just cocktails and dessert. I'm gonna try the ice cream that came with the turon. It's different. It's caramel. It's also got a caramel flavor, but also subtle, just like the ube, so not too strong of a flavor. I would say my favorite, though, is the um, bread pudding. That was number one. I agree. Everybody agrees. <laughs> that was delicious. I ate everything. So did everyone else. All gone. That was good, yeah? All right, so that was Peso with my friends. I enjoyed myself, but like I said before, looking for traditional Filipino food or you're a purist, you might not like it. And if you're on a budget, you're not gonna like the price, but it was enjoyable. So if you thought that was helpful or interesting, press the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next week for another food adventure. Peace out, take care, have a great weekend.